Mexico and we have six and a half hours to go tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get some sleep tonight. Just ordered a mattress and bed frame. Riveting. publicly acknowledge that this guy right here drove all 24 hours to Arizona over the span of a few days through a snowstorm through the mountains 30 hours with our giant U-Haul we're going to return it but damn I am grateful and we're going to bed good morning it is day one of living in Arizona I feel a little disheveled and we don't have any furniture, but I'm happy. So that's all that matters. I do have this mirror. Um, that was the seating chart from our wedding. So that's the reason the only thing I own is a mirror. But I think our biggest takeaway from moving across the country is if you can avoid doing it in the winter, I highly recommend it. We left Minnesota and it was snowing but it was honestly fine by the time we got to Iowa a lot of the snow had melted um or just like it wasn't snowing there but then we spent a night in Kansas and then we went to New Mexico and this is so naive of us but like I didn't really think there'd be snow in New Mexico I'm like oh it's warm it's the south it's fine um and then we left at I want to say like seven in the morning and tried to drive from New Mexico to Arizona and it was the scariest drive of our life. Like we could not see the road, it was blizzarding, uh, the plows had not come through, we were on a lot of back roads through the mountains, it was so so scary. Kyle drove the whole way and I was just freaking out in the passenger seat and trying to stay silent so I didn't make him more nervous than he already was. But there was actually a point where I texted one of our good guy friends and I was like, hey, I know this sounds dramatic, but I swear I'm not being dramatic. Um, can you just continuously check our location for the next like hour and a half, two hours? Because I'm really scared we keep losing service. And like, if you don't see us move for two hours, like, or like, obviously like less than that, like 30 minutes and we're stuck in a spot, like maybe call 911. Cause like we were, we had a big U-Haul. I was, we were terrified, but we made it to Arizona. We're absolutely wiped out, but we have a lot to do now that we are here. Uh, step one is going to be getting a desk because I am starting work tomorrow and Kyle actually is working today and he is standing at our kitchen island um, and using it as a standing desk and I'm like, okay, so I don't know how long that's going to last, but he did order a desk online on Amazon, but it just hasn't come yet, so hopefully that comes soon. And then I think step two is going to be just like ordering the rest of the stuff of bedding. Right now we're sleeping on an air mattress, which isn't super glamorous, but again, we're happy. We're just doing things one step at a time. Um, I have an entire list on my phone of like priority of purchases. Bedrooms are gonna be first and then couch. Having a couch would be really nice. Um, some bar stools maybe. But, oh, and kitchen stuff. We don't have like silverware or anything, but we bought some paper plates. So that'll get us by for a little while. But I think I'll do a video at some point about just like high level tips for moving across the country. And then also just a lot of the things we learned while living out of our car around the country for two years. Okay, living out of our car might be dramatic. We were in Airbnbs, but you know what I mean? We didn't have a home base. So our car was our home base, um, but yeah. That's the update. I will hopefully keep you guys updated on how long it takes to furnish this place because we need a lot of stuff. Bye.